you. Yeah, and um, you've been involved in a lot of Archie stuff because you wrote the you wrote the crossover with Glee, which yep. was another show that you were on. Yep. And um, you know, we've done a lot of different versions of Archie in the last few years. You know, he's fought zombies, he's yep. um, gotten shot, he's yes. um, crossed over with you know Sharknados. Now yes. you're bringing yes. in the prime time. So right. tell us about that transition and how it was, how you approached this differently. You know. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's you're right, Archie's kind of been, Archie and his friends have been in a lot of different situations. You know, since I started working with Archie a few years ago, um, it, it really was a priority for John Goldwater, who's the uh, publisher of Archie and CEO of Archie, uh, to get uh, some live action stuff done, either, and, and, uh, Early on, we settled on what would be greatest to do an Archie series, um, and and early on, we decided that the show wouldn't be called Archie, but it would be called Riverdale, so that we could bring in all the different characters and all the different points of view. For instance, um, Josie and the Pussycats, who are huge Archie characters, they are in in Riverdale. Um, uh, uh, it took about two or three years to get it set up and actually made. Um, we partnered with Greg Berlanti, who's the king of the CW, uh, kind of an uber producer, because uh, he's done comic book stuff, obviously, but he's also done coming of age like Dawson's Creek, that was his first show, and he's done Small Town, he did Everwood. Uh, and in kind of figuring out what the show would be, um, we thought that there needed to be something, a, a little bit of an engine more than just a coming of age story. And I love coming of age stories, and this is at its heart a coming of age story. But we also kind of thought, oh, it would be nice to add some kind of noir mystery element so that we could have a little bit like ending on cliffhangers and things like that. And, and you know, on some level, Every kind of coming of age story is really a loss of innocence story, and and uh, it felt like telling a story where all the kids kind of grew up and and like saw the world for what it was or saw their parents for what they were uh, could be a really cool way to do this coming of age story. So, what do you think is uh, going to attract audiences to this uh, to the show? Yeah, I think it's the I think it's people's um, affection. Uh, for these characters, you know, I've, I've in working with Archie over the last, you know, seven years and, and being an Archie fan all my life, uh, every time I bring up Archie or Betty and Veronica, uh, most everyone has some memory of it or they know who I'm talking about. And it's either someone who, when they were in summer camp, they read the Double Digest or they're in the supermarket and they want their parents to buy the Double Digest or they remember the cartoon or they remember Sugar Sugar. And that, that kind of familiarity, uh, I think people will invest in these characters and I think uh, people will be excited to see them in a new medium. So I think that, that, that fan base that is really, really passionate, uh, uh, will, 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 those will be the first people who turn to it. Uh, we're, the first season is going to be 13 episodes. Uh, we are right. We've, we've, we've broken the whole season, and right now I think we just started working on episode four. Okay. More questions? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, oh, do you want to? Do you want to go? I don't. I don't want to steal it. Yes. So if this is going to be dramatic, are you still going to keep the elements of the comedy from the book? A hundred percent. I mean, it's 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 more a drama, but there are, there are funny lines, funny characters. You know, like I said, Josie and the Pussycats, they're in there, so we even have some music in it. Uh, so 100%, the show is not just it, not just dark, it really is a mix of the two. And I, I, I would never do a show that was just dark and nihilistic, like, who wants to see Archie as, like, the Dark Knight, Re you know, like the Dark Knight Returns. But but I think that I think if I if we did a show that was Archie like Saved by the Bell I think people would be like yeah it's kind of we've seen that before so so it's really that tension between light and dark. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.